獅子山學會嘅誒 Janice Fong 誒講一講你意見唔該啊。Hey, thank you, Chairman. Regarding the proposed amendments to the Inland Re、uh, Revenue Bill, the Lion Rock Institute is against the Hong Kong government sharing personal information of any person living in Hong Kong to any foreign country beyond what is required in our comprehensive double taxation agreements. We should see. That the purpose of exchange of information is designed for foreign bureaucracies to find and tax more, so that governments and their politicians may possess more money and therefore justify their increasing and, if global asset prices are right, imprudent government spending. It used to be the Western civilizations that lectured the world on the amount of morality, of the importance of human rights, of privacy against government intrusion, and now, from the cesspits of fiscal profligacy. They, like thugs, attempt to extort information from governments such as ours, disgracefully forcing us to become unwilling spies of the people within our own borders. Years ago, these old-world Western civilizations planted wine-producing grapevines all around the world. They've also planted the vines of respect, of privacy, fiscal discipline, and the spirit of liberty across the world as well. Now, let me remind you all. Members of the Legislative Council, that these virtues of enlightenment have taken root and flourished within our fellow Hong Kong citizens. We all know that phylloxera blighted the grape vines of the old world, and it was carefully protected. Vine, it was the carefully protected vines surviving in the old, new world, transplanted back, that eventually saved the old world. Fiscal profligacy today is doing what phylloxera did in the past. It is our duty to protect and uphold these virtues that has taken roots and flourished here by voting no on this bill, so that when the day comes, we are ready to transplant the vines of privacy, fiscal discipline, and liberty back to those who gave birth to them. A no vote today will act as a wake-up call for the foreign governments pressurizing us that taxing will not save themselves from their own profligacy. And we vote no today, not as an adversary to their political will, but as a friend who is grateful for the virtues of enlightenment learned here in Hong Kong, and hope that they will relearn one day. Thank you, Chairman.